So I'm looking at the watermelon and thinking about the world we live in. It's one of those small happy watermelons all around and conveniently small. It is on sale. It is $8.99. This is a big savings because it is down from $14.99. And I'm thinking how much I love watermelons in the hot days of the summer, and how this is apparently now an ancient memory, because the likelihood I'd buy a watermelon such as this, for $14.99, is called not bloody likely. And the idea that I could grow my own with my property, is also not bloody likely. So, unless someone invites me to lunch with a service of watermelon, or they figure out how to 3D print the things in a lab, well, it was nice knowing you watermelon. But someone will buy the watermelons, the wealthy perhaps, or the frantic millennial who has no time to check prices, sandwiched as they are between work and aging parents and young children, and who will just throw it all on the credit card to deal with later, one day. They are the rushing and the rush to run on empty most of the time, but at least it saves on carbon emissions, and for this, a ragged smile might be warranted. They're saving the earth when they cannot save themselves, some would say, but that might be too dark to consider really. Maybe the watermelons will grow shriveled and moldy, and be fed to the pigs if there are any pig farms left, or perhaps the insects in the insect farm, or plowed into landfill, and the cycle of life will go on, and the poor and the desperate will eventually stop buying watermelon-flavored jelly beans, because they don't remember what a watermelon is, and why risk their pittance on the taste of unknown things. Better to buy Raymond noodles and strawberry jello, they say with haunted wisdom. New wisdom plucked from the ether without history or culture, now forming its own banal catchphrases under the new normal. We used to say, a penny saved, is a penny earned. What good is that to them now? They who do not even know the meaning of the word save. Or even what a penny is for that matter. How could they understand the word save? Indebted before they even began. But I digress. The important thing is, watermelon are not worth $8.99, and that is that. The really really important thing however is that it is time to be honest. It has been easier to lie to ourselves that those in power are looking out for us. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Those in power have essentially seized our funds and in return offered us watermelons at a staggering $14.99 each. They've taken our money and set home prices at levels unattainable for most. They've siphoned our finances to finance foreign wars, serving their own interests and those of their associates, often resulting in the tragic loss of other people's children. It's possible they may eventually turn their violence on our own. Our money has been appropriated by them, leaving the homeless and shattered individuals huddled on the streets. They've failed to safeguard us against criminal activity. They've taken our money and our jobs without replacing them. They've plundered our cultural heritage and obliterated our history. They've taken our money and exposed us to harmful substances. They've taken our money and condemned and vilified the spiritual traditions that have provided us with resilience. They've taken our money and amassed even greater debt, indebting us to foreign entities. They've exploited our goodwill for their own agendas. They've seized our money and initiated a process of hurting and marking us like livestock, They've taken our money and inflicted psychological and even physical harm on our children, tearing apart families in the process. They've taken our money and instilled hatred in us for those who dare to think differently or question the status quo. Ultimately, they've taken our money and sold us as slaves to corporate interests. They took our hope and replaced it with their dystopian plastic utopia of empty gray machines and uniformity driven by robots and AI as if a human would want this. They are taking our freedom. Yes, they are taking our freedom. That bears repeating twice. Mostly, they took our money and turned their backs to any questions. And if the government is not going to listen to the people, then why should the people listen to their government? And is that really what they want at the end of the day? 
a deliberate forcing of an uprising by the people that accelerates the problems they've carefully orchestrated, and the desperation that will have the people clamoring for their solution. And for those who do not clamor for it, but are fatalistically resigned to paying a price they need not have paid, they too, will clutter the gutters of a broken world. They are no different. All being done in the name of global socialism. At no time in history has socialism been a good thing for any world. Why would it be different now? They start with the belief that they are leveling the field and end up persecuting, imprisoning or murdering those who would disagree. They would say that the socialism was not done right. This time, they say, it will be different. They always say that. Yet it has always been that way, and the outcome is always the same. The dead of history don't talk, but they could tell a story that stretches well beyond our sense of outrage. Those that lived through socialist regimes. They are the ghosts that whisper in the night when daylight is too bright. And they will do all this, and the world will still go on. They will not save anything. Perhaps themselves. The rest, they will just break. And even if the world with humans should die tomorrow for whatever reason, was this the way to treat each other at the end of it all? And now the question becomes, just how far are they willing to go? And how far are we willing to go to protect what makes us human? They don't even know that they don't know. I think it was Chomsky. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.